Hey everybody, welcome back to the Castos YouTube channel. Today's exciting announcement is we have a new way to do private podcasting with Castos. Uh, up until this point, you could always use Castos as a private podcast host by simply sharing this one private feed to any user. And that meant that anyone that had that particular feed link could then subscribe to your private podcast. Now we can subscribe individual users by email and then they receive a unique feed link that they can use in any of their podcast players. So at any point, they can subscribe to your private podcast, but then you can also remove them when time is up. So this is a perfect solution for those of you that are doing internal trainings through podcasts. So if you're a large organization, a large nonprofit, a brand, a company, doesn't matter, and you're using the power of podcasting to train and inform your team, well, this is a fantastic way to do it. You can subscribe those members to that list. They can get their unique URLs to subscribe to the show. Or if you're running a membership site and you're looking to monetize a podcast, think about having like a pro level plan to your podcast. It's very, uh, oftentimes you'll hear podcasters say that there's a private feed for maybe the rest of the show, or they have somebody on teaching this great topic. They have tons of advice, but there's bonus material in a private podcast. Maybe it's a paid private podcast. Maybe it's a free private podcast, but it's a way to build uh, and construct a community around your podcast. This is a perfect example for that. And Castos makes it super simple. Let's just take a look at the plans on the castos.com pricing page. Every plan, no matter which plan you start with at Castos, is going to come with that basic level of private podcasting. In other words, one private link you can share with whomever you'd like, and that's only going to go to that private podcast feed. Now, each plan, Starter, Growth, and Pro, will come with a certain uh, a limit to private individual uh, subscribers. So as you can see here in the Starter plan, we have up to 100 private subscribers. In the Growth plan, we have up to 250 uh, private subscribers. And then in the Pro plan, we have up to 500 private subscribers. So each level will come with its own unique number of individual private subscribers or unlimited private subscribers through that one generic link. Now that we've got the benefits out of the way, now, we, now that we know what a private podcast is and what individual subscribers means to a private podcast, some of the benefits and the features, let's dive into setting it up. One, as a Castos user, if you're just using Castos to host your podcast, or if you're setting it up on your WordPress site. We'll also take a look at that. Let's dive right in. Okay, so the first example we're gonna take a look at is if you're just a Castos hosting customer, you don't use WordPress uh, to connect up to your Castos account. We're gonna create a new podcast, and this podcast is gonna be for our private feed. So let's go ahead and click on add new podcast. We'll give it a name. We'll say South, if I can spell South Coast Private Podcast. Continue. It's going to prompt me to upload our first episode. You could do that if you already had a first episode, but the first thing I'm going to do is go to all episodes, and then obviously there's none here. We're going to click on podcast settings, feed details, because we just need to fill out the description first. So this is for my private podcast. Go to the bottom, hit save podcast details, go back into podcast settings. And now we go to distribution. Once we're into the distribution section, you can see this is where you would grab your public uh, podcast feed, but we want to click on podcast is private. It's going to say, congrats, your podcast has been password protected. Share the feed URL below uh, for private podcast subscribers. Now, in the past, you could always grab this unique link here and you would give this one private podcast feed out, but you'll see below we have this new interface here where you can add individual subscribers to this feed. So let's go ahead and hit add subscriber. We'll say, Matt, email is matt at castos.com. Go on add. We'll say private subscriber has been added and there's my name, there's my email. This is when I was added. And then clicking this link will shoot over uh, the copied link to your clipboard. So you could then just send this to somebody, Slack it to them, direct message to them, Facebook message it, email it, whatever. Uh, or you can come back and revoke access by hitting the delete button. Now, what's also happening behind the scenes is this is sending out an email to that email address that you provided with that same link and links to connect them to their podcast players so they can quickly go in and drop in 
private link. I'll show that towards the end of the video. Let's set this up on WordPress now so you can see it from that angle. Okay, so if you're a WordPress user and you're using our seriously simple podcasting plugin uh, to connect Castos to your WordPress site, things are gonna look slightly different for you than the previous instructions. This is the Castos dashboard with my WordPress uh, website connected to this particular account. And you can see on the right-hand side, there is no add new podcast setting here. We have to do that from within WordPress. So seriously simple podcasting plugin already enabled. Of course, it's running the rest of my uh, podcast through my WordPress website. And we have to create a new series. Instead of calling it a new podcast uh, through the plugin, it's going to be a new series. We'll call this Matterport Pro. I'm not going to fill out the rest of this information. I don't need a new image at this moment. So I'm just going to hit, hit add new series. And you can see on the right hand side, my report pro, this is the new series. This is what I'm going to use for my private podcast. If we go back to the Castos dashboard, hit refresh, there's our new uh, my report pro podcast. So we're going to hit settings, distribution, and you'll see right here, I'm able to enable the private podcasting and do the same thing that I showed uh, in the previous instructions. I can come in and add a new subscriber right here. If you're a WordPress user, welcome to a Seriously Simple Podcasting plugin in the Castos family. We have a lot of fun integrations uh, that are coming very, very soon. Uh, integrations that work seamlessly with very popular membership plugins for WordPress. So you don't even have to do any of this critical thinking. And it'll be uh, based on that level that you're selling to in your membership uh, plugin. And then other future uh, deeper integrations to WordPress, like popular contact forms, popular e-commerce platforms, customized code. If you're building something yourself, it's going to get really fun for these individual subscribers and great for you as a website administrator, membership uh, e-commerce person, it's going to be very easy, very seamless. So that's it. That's how you do it on Castos. If you're hosting on Castos, that's how you do it in WordPress. If you're hosting simply through uh, the WordPress website, and now we'll show you how to connect that email that comes out for private subscribers, how to get it into your uh, podcast player. Okay. Let's take a look at the email that goes out when somebody subscribes to your private podcast. You can see up the top of the subject line, it says you've been added to the private podcast. There's a quick description, but the most important elements are copying this uh, link, which is the unique private link to the user receiving this email. And then they click on the listen now button, which brings them to a landing page of some of the most popular podcast players. And all they have to do is click one of these links, which will bring them into the app. And let's just say we'll click on Apple Podcasts. Get that out of the way and we'll hit paste because we've already copied uh, our link in there. And then we'll go ahead and hit subscribe. That'll add that private podcast right to the bottom uh, of their list. And they've all been subscribed to the private podcast you've set up. It's as easy as that. So we hope you enjoy the unique new feature of subscribing individual private subscribers to your private podcasting feed only available on Castos over at castos.com. If you have any questions uh, about private podcasting, fill out a contact form, hit the little bubble on our website, email me, matt at castos.com. Happy to answer any questions you have about private podcasting, about monetizing your podcast, using your podcast for internal company training, whatever it is, you can reach us again at castos.com. Thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button if you want more. And don't forget, we have the best podcast for podcasters uh, over at the audience podcast. You can subscribe at castos.com slash subscribe. All right, thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you in the next one.